nice to meet you, my little brother. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. So, my buddy AJ and I came here all the way from Maine in order to hopefully find the Mothman, or, or at least find out what this thing is. Do you guys have any theories of what this thing could be? Well, I've done a lot of, like, talking to different people, a lot of research reading and stuff like that here and there, and pretty much I think it's some sort of a demon, and that's pretty much all I could really, you know, come up with because nothing else really makes any sense to me. So. Wow, so this thing could be a demon. So I need to hunt this thing as a, as a demon. I need to think about how, yeah, yeah. What, kind, what kind of environment maybe a demon could live in, right? Yeah, pretty much anywhere you can get down to it. But, That's true. Yeah. That's the scary part, you know? Yeah. yeah. up into this area where all the TNT uh, igloos are positioned and this is pretty much what it looks like it's just like an old military base um, you got these weird little uh, grid pattern roads out here these roads are just straight and then they're connected with all these like little side shoots and it's just really creating like a grid pattern just like this one here it's uh, one of the side shoots and evidently out here somewhere are these uh, giant igloos uh, and, and evidently that's where they kept the TNT uh, back in, I believe, World War II, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what he said. All right, so we're right here at one of the entrances of one of these igloos. And these igloos are thought to hold the Mothman. The Mothman is probably some type of demon. And I, I really don't think it's a cryptid because the locals here truly think it's a demon. And uh, my cousin... Uh, actually had a digital camera out here a few years ago and was taking photos and he actually captured some images that were uh, ghostly I, I guess you could say so what we've done so far is we basically have scouted this area looking for any tracks or any signs Woods and we just came upon a carcass and it, it definitely looks like a predator kill you can tell because the it's been spread out and limbed I don't even know where the other legs are it's pretty typical of predator kills and uh, there are coyotes in the area but people have told us in this area this happens quite a bit and it, they they attribute it to the mothman so uh, i'm looking around the perimeter of this uh, igloo and i'm trying to see what's um if i can find anything any kind of clues or information to help us out and what i did find which is kind of neat is a geocache it's a uh, a large sealed bottle with uh, information on people who found it before and little trinkets that uh you can sign your name and leave it there and people can go search for them Nice. Can you open it up and show us what's in there? Yeah, sure. We've got the form that goes along with the whole geocaching program. And it, and it gives the date and the names of the people that were here. We've got fortune cookies. <laughs> nice. It's up to you to make the next move. A little <laughs> bit of prophecy there. Pleasant surprise is soon in store for you, which is kind of funny being that it's the Mothman. Oh, yeah. And we've got a toy. Dinosaur. In case we were scared or bored. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move into this the igloo. Now, this is exactly where they think the Mothman holds up. There are a lot of these giant igloos, and basically they are crazy. Check this out, AJ. So there's basically this giant brown structure that literally looks like an igloo. Dude, it sounds, it sounds weird. weird. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Wow, that's crazy. See how it's all on the edges. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's starting to drop. What is that? These remind me of the uh, cans that they kept food in. Huh. So evidently, people feel like the Mothman comes in here and, and lives somehow. It's also thought that the Mothman is a uh, demon. So maybe it's just simply haunted. I don't know. I don't feel creeped out in here, do you? Uh, 
All right, so let's go check out a couple other other these uh, these igloos. All right, so here's another one of these igloos. These things are awesome. Woo! <laughs> so these things are cool. They're about, um, I would say, well, how wide do you think this is, AJ? How large do you think this is? 50 feet wide? So he, right here's this edge to give you an idea. So there's the other side, and it's it's a good it's pretty large, you know. I mean, so yeah, about a 35 diameter igloo, 35 feet diameter, with a vent in the top. And yeah, whoa! Oh, it's the <laughs> that was the laser. I was like, what is that? So what do you think about this, AJ? It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I don't think I've been in a structure like this before. I mean, it's definitely military, like World War II era. It's amazing. These structures are definitely degrading too, so I think over the years, more and more pieces of it are gonna be disappearing. Yeah, definitely. They're already starting to kind of get absorbed into the landscape. Um, once you get outside here, uh, it's pretty much grown up to the point where you can't even see the things. I mean, you know, this is what it looks like on the outside. This is the side of these igloos. So they are definitely grown up to the point where if you didn't exactly know where these things were, you would never be able to find them. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> 